Now, the question is uh, with, res with respect to the issue of uh, video, selfie, as the position of the scholars changed on that. Some scholars, their position have changed or has changed. Some scholars, their position remains the way it is. There are some scholars that are of the opinion that you don't take uh, uh, passport photographs, sorry, you don't take uh, pictures, photographs, and you don't appear on uh, TV and the likes. So, and that is the position of Sheikh Rabi Al Madhali. Up till now, the Sheikh maintains this position that you don't appear on what? On uh, TV and the likes. So, whenever I was invited to a program, if they are going to cover the program, you will not attend. You will not attend. So, he has maintained his position. Yes, you can see some of his uh, maybe video clip or uh, photograph. So, this is something that was done without his awareness. He wasn't aware when this was uh, done. So, some people, they watch. They hide their, they will hide camera when they were maybe speaking with uh, people. So there are, there are people like that. But the Sheikh is always uh, uh, ash on, uh, on it. Sheikh Fawzan, Hafizullah Ta'ala, uh, had a position. That position is that if it's going to be life, eh, the way we have it now, that is being watched, it's been uh, transmitted live. So he doesn't see it as uh, something different from what uh, people watching you live. But if they are going to watch, record it and watch, the shake is against that. But the problem is that those who are doing it live, they are also watch recording. So this is the reason why you have what recorded uh, videos of uh, the Sheikh. So Sheikh Al Fawzan is also ash. Like when Sheikh Al, 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 Al Muslim Abad, the Sheikh is also ash on that. So when people are bringing camera and the likes, maybe to his uh, lecture, his video, uh, he doesn't like it. So and what he will tell that any person who does that, the person is not representing him. He is free from that. However, there are some scholars, like Sheikh Al-Albani was not that harsh on it. But he said, if you are going to do it, it must be something that is going to be beneficial. He mentioned, for instance, if a malam that is explaining how to perform harsh to people is recorded, so that people will know how to perform harsh. So he supports something like this. And... His evidence is that Aisha Rodiallania had a kind of doll huh, that she will use, she will play with. So if it is permissible for her, then something that is more beneficial huh, will be what will be permissible. But the Sheikh said till his death that he as a person would not appear on it huh, because he would not like somebody to bring into his home a TV set all in the name that I want to watch, uh, watch uh, Sheikh Al-Albani. So he wide on that what I want to watch Sheikh Al-Albani and he will be watching some other things that I watch that are against the deen. And this is what is true. A lot of people today, they, bring in, they brought into their home or they are bringing into their home this TV, whatever, and they do not control it. These children are exposed to different channels that will ruin them. No monitoring. And a lot of children have been ruined as a result of things like this. So, Sheikh Bin Baz, Rahimahullah uh, Ta'ala, towards the end of his life, he said, if we can take passport photograph for driver's license and the likes, if we can take that, then accepting video, whatever, that is educative, 
will be more permissible. Will be more permissible. If we permit uh, taking drivers like uh, taking photograph for driver's license and the likes, international passports. So it will be more permissible if you take video that is educative, particularly is teaching the day. So he said with this, he is changing his position on the matter. That you cannot. So his position is what is close to that of uh, Sheikh Al Albani, rahimahullah ta'ala. And there are some scholars that from inception, they don't see uh, this uh, passport photo, sorry, photograph generally and the video, whatever, they don't see it as falling under the hadith of the Musawwirun. He said, that hadith is talking about those who draw with their hands. Though Sheikh Al-Albani tried to knock that in his book, Adab Ziwab, he said, if you say the hadith is talking about those who draw with their hands, those who are making those things, don't you know that what? They've perfected everything. So all you need is just to press a button. And once you press that button, all the efforts that you ought, you ought to do before drawing that thing, so I've been added in that thing. He said, if you want to go by your argument, we say that the, uh, uh, what's it called? The statue that is haram is the one that is made by what? By carving. But if there is a gadget, for instance, that once you press that gadget, it will produce all these uh, statues, then it will be permissible. He said, that is what? Is your argument. So, and this is what is a very strong uh, argument. Sheikh Mubutaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala, used to take this position that he doesn't fall on that. In fact, the Sheikh would say to him, it's just like what photocopier it's just like a photocopier that if you take something now and put it in a photocopier it produces what the same thing but later the sheikh rahimahullah towards the end of his life he changed his position on that of the photograph that is something that is haram except if it is used for something that is what uh, if it is taken for something that is uh, necessary. So this summary really is uh, the position of scholars on this. So for the fact that now we have been, uh, uh, we, have, uh, we, we are exposed to this, it's becoming common and common. So some scholars who took this position before, or some students of knowledge who took this position before, are shifting. You know, uh, if something becomes so rampant at times, it becomes difficult for you to watch, to uh, address. I remember around 2008 or so, I and uh, Ustaz Abdurrahim Abdul Salam, we were with Sheikh Ali Hassan al Halabi. Then the question was put to him by uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Ustaz Abdurrahim Abdul Salam that what is his position on what? on this issue of video whatever so the response of the sheikh was that in al amra idha daqat tasa'a in al amra idha daqat tasa'a when something is becoming so tight then one should watch to try to relax it so it because it has become something that everywhere you can't escape it so the sheikh said the ruling ought to be relaxed so the reason why he asked was that because he had son so, uh, seen some video clips of Sheikh Ali Hassan Al Halabi which was contrary to what what they used to hear from uh, from him before so what the Sheikh said in Al Amra Yadadoko Tasa so some people have changed their position or softened their position so based on what one reason or for one reason or the other wallahu alam